Welcome again to Crypto Jet Holders, Shillers, and my fellow retards and degenerates. Today we're talking about Holochain, and basically it is a end-to-end -end open source P2P app framework for building decentralized apps, but also centralized apps as well. So these guys really have it all. They're very diversified, which means you know they're not putting all of their eggs into the blockchain basket. They're putting their eggs into blockchain and non-blockchain baskets as well. So their core ideas are distributed user controlled storage and also security across the whole system. So trust and security, very important beyond blockchain. So they do provide beyond blockchain solutions as well. If you're a developer, you can press this button right here to learn more. And uh, they are having this next Holochain dev camp. So you can check that out as well. And essentially how it works is you install an app which signs and stores your data on your device you share your public data with a random set of peers. Your peers validate the data against the app's rules before storing it. And invalid data triggers a network-wide security response, which allows for a hugely secure ecosystem, right? So you can start developing an app, right, in a serverless fashion, in a connectable fashion. So you can access other Holochain apps as if they were part of your code base. So everything is very nicely integrated and obviously resilient. And when it comes to blockchain development, it's very configurable. So you choose your own terms. Obviously, it's scalable as well, which is a big plus in today's world and forkable so that you can iterate it until it is absolutely perfect. So essentially, what we're going to be talking about right now is a little bit more about news in the market because we did cover Holochain. That's pretty much what it is. The chart is looking tremendously weird at this point. There's nothing really that I could say just because of this huge wick that pointed out here. Um, we do have a strong zone that I expect to see a reaction of from uh, once again around the 0 0.004 uh, mark. So in the worst case, we're going down there. But if we do move on to the log chart, we can see that we do have somewhat of a support where we are right now, but we are just breaking down from it at the moment. So currently I am bearish, but in the long term or in the next few months, we'll see if Santa blesses us with a bull run uh, or alt season starting right now. Um, we should be moving up from this zone down here. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the technical analysis. Now, something interesting that I wanted to show you was Elon Musk is paying over $11 billion in taxes this year. So leave a comment down below if you think this is enough or if it's not enough and let me know why. So if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, you know, subscribe to the channel and check out the previous ones. I'm always bringing you gems in these little quick content, content for, uh, you know, learning about cryptocurrency, technicals and fundamentals as a whole. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.